What I would say, one thing um, that I thought about was just uh, not being afraid to make mistakes. And, um, you know, when you're younger in your career, it's like your biggest nightmare is making a, a mistake. Um, and, and, you know, and, and I think you can use that a little bit to paralyze yourself in making decisions. And so I would tell a younger me, don't be afraid to make mistakes. But one thing for sure, don't make the same mistake multiple times. That does not end well, uh, usually. Um, so, so I would say, don't be afraid, but learn from it. And, and kind of my perspective is always demonstrate what you learn from it, um, and don't be afraid to shy away from it and try it again. Um, and so, if I could go back, I would do that because I think I, I fretted uh, failing a little bit too much, and it, and you don't make decisions quickly when you're always afraid of failing. We were even just saying earlier today that you get to a point where if you're making the odd mistake and it's not a groundbreaking, career-threatening mistake, <laughs> it almost becomes a little fun, right? It's the totally. game within the game of, okay, what tools do I use to try and fix this and not do it again? Yeah, it's interesting. And sorry, I won't take too much longer on this, but I remember it really stood out for me uh, when I got more senior in my career, sitting around a table and there was a mistake that had happened and um, a young woman, she didn't have her team with her and she had an opportunity at that point to, to blame her team for the mistake. And she was so young in her career. She sat down at the table and it was all senior people and, and um, I was interested in how she was gonna play it out. The first thing she said is, by the way, that mistake that happened, and it was a pretty significant financial one, she said, that was all me. And I was like, I learned from her that day. I was like, what a gutsy young lady. And it helped her in her career, because I never forgot that. I, was, I used her, her name's Amy, her first name was Amy. And I've used that story a ton, because it was just, I was so proud of such a young person accepting responsibility when she had a chance to, to blame it on something. I learned from that.